Okay, let's talk about China. S&P cut China's credit rating, says a rising debt is stoking economic and financial risks. Will the downgrade of China's credit rating hurt the markets in the United States? Let's put this in perspective. So uh, the S&P cut the credit rating uh, one step, so they're at an A-plus right now. But they've also cut the ratings on three foreign banks uh, that operate primarily in China. So the S&P is is looking at this pretty seriously. It's not just isolated with what's going on with China. They're also looking at who's doing business financially with China. So China's had a prolonged, strong uh, credit growth, but, but the projections show that there's increasing economic and financial risks, and we're seeing the impact with this, with what the S&P is do, doing. But let's keep in mind that Moody's also had a downgrade on China, and that was based upon what they perceived the ability of China's uh, economic growth into the future, and at the same time, balancing their growing debt. Now, does that sound familiar? So the, the more pressing issue here, quite frankly, in my mind, is that China has a key party Congress going on next month, so there's going to be politics at play. And China is no different than the United States or any other country. Everything is politics, and everything is about political outcomes and political impact. Why? Because politicians are always about self-preservation first. So to the extent that these credit downgrades are going to have some impact on China, the politicians there are always going to look at first, well, how does this impact me? And let's never forget that. But the bottom line here is, I don't think that this downgrade is going to have any impact on the United States or its markets at this point in time. China still has the second largest economy in the world. So I don't think that we're going to see any crumbling of that, at least based upon this slight downgrade. The downgrade wasn't even a surprise because uh, there were indications that this was on its way. These things rarely just bounce up and surprise people in the financial world. This was expected. I don't think the impact on China is going to be Uh, significant. And I don't really expect that there's going to be any ripple effect uh, anywhere really through China or any uh, substance, substantial change in any way uh, on the world markets, King. 